booths, the press conferences, and of course, the games. I'm talking about E3 2018, and there is less than a week to go before the show kicks off here at the Los Angeles Convention Center. But what's in store for the big three? Here are our predictions. Even though Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO John Cadera says the PlayStation 4 is in the final phase of its life cycle, Sony will be firing on all cylinders at E3 and showing off its console exclusives. Spider-Man, Days Gone, The Last of Us 2, and Death Stranding will almost certainly see lots of FaceTime at this year's show. Our wildest prediction? That Sony is going to show off the successor to the PlayStation 4. Even just a glimpse, but don't hold your breath. Microsoft is in the very same boat as Sony with Xbox One a good way through its own life cycle. They'll also be bringing big exclusives to the show. Crackdown 3 looks like it's finally launching this year and it could come with a battle royale mode to compete with games like PUBG and Fortnite. I'm also predicting the announcement of Halo 6 because Halo games tend to come around every few years and they're due. As for Nintendo, they have made it clear they will be leaning heavily into Smash Brothers for Switch at this year's show. We're also probably gonna get more information on Metroid Prime 4, a new Animal Crossing announcement hopefully, and some good third-party ports like Fallout 3 and Fortnite. As for new hardware announcements, the Nintendo Switch is fully in its prime, so don't expect anything there. But I have heard rumblings of a possible N64 classic, which, fingers crossed guys, because that could be really cool. Well, that's it for our E3 predictions. What are your guesses? What are your wish lists? Drop them down in the comments and stay tuned to CNET.com. We'll be carrying all of the biggest press conferences kicking off on June 9th with EA. I'm Ashley Escava. Be good humans.